We are here to check out the Devil's Cave. This is my first time going in there. What? Did people used to hide here when the military came? Ooh. Can you tell me your name? Skin Walker. It will kill you. It'll swallow up your throat. You won't be able to breathe. I honestly just feel like we're about to be ambushed right now. Come on, coming. Grab the sword. Come on, hot. Nick, you good? Thousands of years later, the ruins and foundations of the Anasazi structures and cities still linger in the sands. A location known as the Devil's Cave by locals had been the sighting of strange occurrences, including satanic rituals, animal sacrifices, and a well-known area for skinwalker sightings. Now one such sighting involved a trip to the cave by some students, and they decided to take pictures while they were out exploring. On these pictures, the students discovered some dark and disturbing figures captured in the background. journey to the location was difficult and dangerous, and a path that was infrequently traveled by locals. See that? I think there's like a drop right there. Oh, Check that out. Um, yeah, that way. Go around. <laughs> it's so much better that way. <laughs> supernatural crew has been called to these painted hills near their homeland to investigate the devil's cave. What do you think about this place? Very evil. <laughs> uh, got soft sand in there, no tracks, but there is movement within the past probably a week or two. That other one you didn't go in there, huh? No. Yeah, there's a bunch of, like there was a fire inside of there. Like recently? Or not recently, but... Old fire? Yeah, so... We got a bunch of hawk feathers still all throughout here. Yep, here's one. So this right here is a... Uh, a uh, weed that we found is used, used by... It's a marker. You want to explain a little bit more of it? Yeah, it's a marker that's placed up at the beginnings of Skinwalker Caves. Um, also, 
This place is actually called Devil's Cave. And it has been for several generations since people have pretty much settled here in Joseph City. So we found this kind of looking for markers and we found it the only one growing at the top of one of these hills. There's two of them sticking out. You'll see the footage. When someone chews on this or it's placed into water like a tea, then it will kill you, it'll swell up your throat and you won't be able to breathe. It has little itty bitty crystals in here that act almost similar to cyanide. You kind of start foaming up and everything. It's really awful. But um, we found some of that. We destroyed the root system of it and I took little samples of it just to be able to kind of have these samples and kind of show you guys, show our audience exactly what these, what these are and to be really careful when you see markers or when you see these grow. These usually grow in uh, the darkness, the evil has gardens that they grow hallucinogenics, they grow things that will kill people. And so this is one of them. So we're gonna kind of take care of this and it's a telltale sign of it's gonna be a fun night. Along the journey, Hero recalled times in his early training when the Skinwalker Cave Networks and Strongholds were many and housed unspeakable evils. He hopes if this site is one of those strongholds that it has since been abandoned, the ever-threatening feeling of battle and death loomed over these haunting hills. So we are currently in the Painted Desert north of Joseph City and we are here to check out the Devil's Cave. So we are dressed to the nines. As you can see, we are all armored up and ready to go because there were signs of Yanagloshi or skinwalkers in the area. Joining me in this investigation is myself, Hero, scouting ahead right now, making sure everything's okay and best Paul on the camera. So it's gonna be a crazy and wild night. So I have my sword, knife, gun right here just in case there's any wildlife out here coyotes cougars and everything like that because we are it is a cave that we're going to be going into so it's going to be pretty rad anything you want to add it's going to be a wild ride like a wave of energy. think I kind of I don't know man I honestly just feel like we're about to be ambushed right now all right I head up there this is my first time going in there You guys good? Yeah. You cannot fall in there. Okay. It'd be hard as hell to get you out.
Nick, you good? You alright, brother? I have too much shit. <laughs> too much shit to be going through caves. Oh yeah. We gotta watch the pitches. Yeah. Okay. Glad you put this in else. What are you feeling, brother? It's just buzzing in here. Like, you hear it? I just saw movement behind you. Should I turn my light? I heard something right when you said that. Like, it was right up above the rim pod. I saw, like, a shadow move. Yeah, it's like a buzzing, like, it's so... High energy is just buzzing. Do you spirits need anything? We can give you offering. Unlike all the other travelers who have come here, we're here to help. So if you like my song, I'm going to sing a song in uh, honor of the earth, honor of the beings in the caves and the, the, the area that we're at. If you want me to stop any time, you can touch the red light that's behind my brother there. You touch that red light, I'll stop, okay? If you want me to keep singing, just let me know when I'm done with the song. You can touch the red light after, okay? Goshi? What are you what are you feeling, hero? Like it's okay in here. Outside is where it's not okay. Do you think that maybe this could be like a hideout? A safe spot? That's what I'm wondering if this is like a safe spot. I hear stuff behind me. Can you check with flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. You have it. Oh. Am I good? Good. It's my... Moving. Moving? What's moving? Can you tell me your name? Skin Skinwalker. The Skinwalkers traverse this cave. It just got blurry in here. Holy fuck, I just lost focus. Did you lose focus? Yeah, the camera just lost focus. A demon? Are there dark beings in here? I wasn't, I wasn't even moving it, neither. Here. It lost focus again. Uh, if there's beings in here, go touch that red light. Make it flash. Touch the antenna. I keep hearing Skinwalker. Yeah, I keep hearing that too. Disappear. Mud. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, please. I've never heard that voice on there before. No, it's like a real kid or something, huh? Yeah. 
What's your name? What's your name? These are just some... I don't know how to talk. You don't know how to talk? Teeth? Teeth? Listen. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> what? 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 Oh, bug, bug, bug. Big ass bug went in my ear. Sorry. God. Jeez. So you got some fear energy from us. What are you gonna do with that fear energy? Creatures? Fetch creatures? Danger. Who's in danger? so off right now. What's wild is this Necrophonic has that satanic star on there, just on the screen. I really don't like using it, especially in places that there is known satanic activity, Ouija boards and everything like that were used in here. Were you, were you birthed from a Ouija board? Are you in a strange land right now? Showing on a point one milligauss. Do you need help? It sounded like an elder say, oh. What do you need help with? I'm feeling something behind me, you guys. Sean Clem. Yeah, I see. Says Sean Clen, yes. Is there anything behind Sean Clen? Position over here, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. Disappointing. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not in here to get messed up. Dancing? Creation. Creation? Made me? What? Did people used to hide here when the military came? Ooh. Shall we try the other cavern? Hurry right back in there. Yeah. Yeah, we can.
Was that our spirit? I saw something go. They're not close by. Could it have been my light? What was that? The fuck was that? On this side? This side. What'd you hear? Something got tossed at me. Like a metal. I heard something move up there. Right when I shut off my camera, fuckers. First feelings after the cave? Uh, nothing too demonic. Like, we got some things that came in on the necrophonic but you see the thing is things got intense with necrophonic so I'm wondering if there is something evil not necessarily demonic but more so evil just because that that symbol always riles them up I think well also I don't think many people have come out here like how they used to back in the day so it's they're hungry possibly they don't have enough energy to do what we need them to do possibly see the moon's starting to come out over the clouds so we're gonna get a little bit more light. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. You can see it, brother, best pal, the face. This whole thing used to be uh, enclosed at one point. Where we're walking right now? Yeah. So that's just a cave, that's just a recent cave. Where we're standing right now is where it used to be before you destroyed it. Shut up. <laughs> Wasn't me. Guardian. Long, long before I was alive. Guardian before you. I oh, seen so they would like do their stuff back there? I seen to enjoy. You hear that? Yeah. Who's coming? Where is he? Did this, did this used to be an evil city? Maybe. 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 Was this your old structure? It says leave. Huh? It said leave. Do we want us to leave? Trying to hold it. Ask your questions.
Okay. Ja, halt, ey. You're not killing anybody tonight. We're here to offer communication with you. Do you need help with anything? Try singing a song. Tune in your energy, brother. Focus on him. They're fucking pissed. That's what I'm fucking getting at right now. A lot of people were buried alive. Yeah, there's like a lot of heat coming right here. Where's Mel? God, I'm just like buzzing with energy right now. Was this the doorway, Ray? Did you just touch my shoulder? No. No. You, no. I'm way over here too. Something just touched my sleeve over here. Point three. Get him. It says point three right here again. I just saw something come, like a ball of light, point four. I saw like a little ball of light come out of this right here. Is that you? No. That was right in front of you. Yeah, that was right in front of me. That gra that the gravel just fell. Out of this right here. Out of this right here. Out of this right here. Point three. Like, I'm not anywhere near that, and that just went off like that. It was at 72, over here it's at 74.1. 74.2. Point 3 right here. Point 3 right here. Did you ask for me? What did he say? Hero? Did you call my name? 75. 75.3. This was at 73, or this was at 72, so 75.3, 75.4. It's getting hotter right here. Did you call my name? I think this is opening up, brother. Trap. Setting a trap or getting trapped. They were trapped. I heard trap though. 
Move. Who's there? The hawk. Why was the hawk killed here? Why was the hawk killed here? Camera went out of focus. There should be no reason it went out of focus. I'll let you guys try. I'm gonna step back. Okay? Okay. Oh, it's off. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I'll just be down the way. All the winds kicking up. Do you want us to stay in chat? They're coming! They're coming. Grab the sword and the red pot. Goodbye. Stay low. Oh,
there's something that came upon us right now here I was talking with it. It's a high level spiritual being an enemy. I was about to walk up there then one of our spirits will stop. Hopefully we got that on the camera. Out this no car. He down the gear, David's idola. Gear thing sick. Cholaha. Osta Cholaha. for the camera big spirit came my spirits and there's a huge presence that pretty much came over you could feel the whole wind come just whirlwinds coming and that spirit that big spirit that came it had not necessarily it didn't have a dark presence it just had a powerful presence and it was coming to check on the beings around. It was coming to to just make sure things are taken care of here. So this place already has a guardian. As far as for the signs for Yenagoshis, this is not necessarily a Yenagoshi cave. It was a long time ago. Maybe that's why that death root was just there. Maybe why that death root was just there. It was old. It wasn't necessarily. It was big and like no one tended to it huh like yeah. no one trimmed it or nothing dried out and it was deep yeah so we had signs and the feelings and the feelings i think were anasaza now those spirits are very powerful very old spirits and we kind of stumbled into their their fort this whole area used to be carved out they utilized what the water carved and utilize it for shelter and they also use the water that flowed down to feed themselves. So this, this place is not necessarily haunted by evil. Whatever was evil that was summoned here, that big spirit took care of it already. But there were, but like the whole thing when I asked was like, was this an evil city? And they said, maybe. Well, the thing with that, you see people have to understand with that Nasaza, some of them, the reason why they were wiped out is because the creator, the thunder beings, and the other deities that were around at the time said that they were learning too much of the dark way. So they had to be wiped out. And that's why they disappeared. They were, their stuff left abandoned in their homes and they were taken away from this earth. So that's what they say is the Anasaza, they, you don't pick up their pottery, you don't pick up any of that stuff because sometimes they did practice darkness. And so that's why when this big spirit came, they went to hide because this big spirit hunts the darkness too, and eats it. So they went and hide. That's why that doorway was hot. That's why they were talking about, they answered us with the evil city. So there was, in a sense, evil, but it's nothing that was brought here by any children or any mil, 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 is, ah, misdeeds. So it's kind of an ancient, ancient thing, right? Like an ancient, like the ruins, you leave, them, you leave them be. We'll do our offering here and we leave them be. Then that's the reason why they call it Devil's Cave. That's the reason why they, people have dark feelings when they come out here and it's really dreadful or they have bad luck happen to them. It's just like running around in ruins. 
ancient ruins and you get cursed your family can get cursed so don't be coming out here don't be looking for this stuff but these are some old ruins that were weathered away in time and we see the remnants and the histories of them in the walls of these these hills here so we respect them we acknowledge them we give them offering and we're going to go on from here and this the spirits are something we don't mess with we don't try to cleanse out unless your home is built on near them but this is their home. Leave it be. I'm offering. Acknowledge them. Pay respects. Oh, that explains that cave or that thing right there too. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. Hey. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Yup, it's the whole G G G. Down is the whole side. It's the whole one here. Also, the autumn Sahara in the. I'm <laughs> <laughs>